Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of God, who is most compassionate and most merciful. On this day, August 23, 2016, in Newark at 7.45 p.m., the Delaware Council on Global and Muslim Affairs is a community-based think tank that is committed to fight for social justice, defend civil rights for all, oppose bigotry and intolerance, and to mainstream Delaware Muslims through political engagement, interfaith dialogues, symposiums, and town hall meetings. In this age of Islamophobia, we are determined to ensure that Delaware Muslims are not silenced, marginalized, or disenfranchised. Delaware is fortunate to have a great set of leaders competing to represent them in Congress. Both Lisa Brunt Rochester and Sean Barney are wonderful individuals and sincere in their commitment to Delaware. But Muslims of Delaware have worked with Brian Townsend for so long on so many issues and events that we think of him as one of our own. His inclusion of Delaware Muslims, his outreach to Delaware Muslims, and his support for Delaware Muslims is unmatched by any other candidate. The community is grateful to him for playing an important role in getting both houses of Delaware to pass a resolution recognizing Islamic holidays. Brian Townsend is a rare leader who combines enormous energy commitment to progressive and ethical values, openness to all regardless of race, religion, or national origin, and a burning desire for public service. He is also the only candidate with elected legislative experience, and we need a very open yet skillful legislator in Congress to navigate the dangerous partisan waters of Washington, D.C. Brian has had a very successful tenure as Delaware Senator. But what we admire most of all his various achievements are his leadership on extending driving privileges for undocumented Delawareans, closing the loopholes in background checks on gun purchases, extending a second chance to felons who have served their time and prohibiting housing discrimination against the poor. All of this underscores his support for the marginalized and it tells us that he will not leave us behind when he goes to Washington. We are proud of our association with him. We cherish his support for us. And today, we stand with him firmly like the rock of Gibraltar. We endorse Brian Townsend for Congress from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you very much, Professor. Uh, thank you all for all the support you've shown over the past many, many months, but more importantly, for all that you have done and are doing for Delaware. First, my apologies that my voice is a little bit hoarse. Uh, the intensity of my campaign is something my voice cannot keep up with. Um, it means so much tonight. I, I do want to say I saw your Facebook post earlier, and I was just scrolling through my phone, and I was a little taken aback uh, to see the photo with, of uh, Jamil. Because um, we know how hard he was working in this election cycle. We know how intensely he was advocating that people register to vote. I can only imagine what his project would have been after the August 20th deadline to register. Um, he gave up his seat every single time for me. Um, he was just, I think, the best example of the community. And it is sad that all the progress the community continues to make, um, that he is not here to see it. But he was such a big part of it. And I think that one reason the endorsement means so much to me is because of how absolutely fantastic and inspirational it is to see the community coming together at this time in our state and country's history. The amount of talent, the amount of conviction, and the amount of kindness in Delaware's Muslim community is inspiring. And at a time when clearly it's important for people to step forward and speak out and talk about inclusivity and talk about equality and talk about opportunity and talk about hard work and talk about family values. And if people don't do that, we see what happens. We see which shadows overcome the light. Here in Delaware, you have done so much over the past 12 plus months um, and there's so much more to go. And to be there with you every step of the way truly is uh, and has been and will continue to be an honor. Um, your courage in doing so is something that helps drive me on, and I truly, truly would be honored to represent your community in Congress to talk about these major national and international issues. I look forward to so many conversations to come, and thank you 
deeply, deeply from the bottom of my heart for your support uh, of my candidacy. Thank you.